Hey, Becky, can you hear me? No? Hi. Hi, Becky. How are you? Good. How's your ribs doing? Much better, finally. Two weeks, two weeks post now. <laughs> that must have hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's a painful thing, you know, because when you, you know, you, you, when you breathe, your ribs move and any torso movement you make, you know, so, ugh. but it's better. Thank goodness they, they heal probably faster than other bones. So what's new with you? <clears throat> well, I'm trying to be able to practice and because I have that bad shoulder and I just, I can't practice like I want to practice. Uh, yeah. I could only do maybe two 15 minute sessions a day and that's it. Oh gosh. So, and I haven't played for two months. Wow. So it's just real frustrating because I want to play this stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want to play, but my shoulder you don't, you don't want to get that shot like mark did um no <laughs> are there are there bad things that can happen with it or are you just not um yeah there it's just i'm leery about cortisone being a nurse i've seen the side effects uh okay of cortisone and plus um if they put that cortisone in it will it weaken the tissue for further problems down the line they don't research that kind of stuff you know uh, okay so um it's just i'm i'm recovering it's just going to be slow and i'm oh. not happy with it being so slow does pt help would pt help i'm doing pt myself oh, oh. oh okay hi joe hey joe. hey joe can you guys hear me Yes. Oh, good. Okay. So how are things in your neck of the woods, Eric? Well, I just found out, I think our, uh, our DEMA Facebook page got hijacked. I think, Ooh. uh, I, uh, Ashley just let me know that, um, her and Colleen can't get in. And I sure. went in there and saw that back in at the beginning of December, I removed them and I, I also removed John and I added, apparently I added some other guy that I have no idea who he is. And so, so nobody's had control of the website for, for the last month. Oh, oh wow. Or the Facebook page. Wow. There's a way around it. All, all these, yeah. you know, all this tech. Oh my God! I, t you know, because during COVID, we've all had to deal with so much more tech. It's just, oh my God! I've just, it's making me lose my mind. Yeah, yeah. I went to the site um, yesterday, and I was looking at the photos, and I saw a photo of my daughter from 2013. She went to one session at um, Detroit Gaelicly, and um, she oh, was wow. in one of the photos. It was kind of cool. Oh, that is but cool. they they told they said her name was Sean, so really? I'm not sure if she looks like a Sean or something. Oh. <clears throat> I, actually... I just saw your message, Eric. Did you? Yeah. That is so weird. It isn't it weird? Oh my gosh! You must have gotten hacked or something. I I must have. Yeah. I don't recognize <laughs> that. I don't recognize that guy's name. Whoever it was, it got added. Me neither. Sounds like a fake name. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Maybe we'll have to like report it to Facebook or something. Yeah, and it it won't let me add you or Colleen back, so I don't hmm. I don't know what happened. <laughs> 
Face and Facebook is, you know, I had some trouble a while ago and oh my gosh, it's hard to get anything done with them. Yeah. You know, cause there's nobody you can talk to. Everything's <clears throat> automated. Um, and I got locked out for like two weeks. And I think it was because I thought I got hacked and I changed my password twice in two days. And I think that's why they locked me out. But I never got an explanation for why they locked me out. Yeah, that's what, what, happened, what happened to me back in December. And it, it took about three weeks for me to get be able to get back in. Mm -hmm. And because I was locked out, I couldn't, um, I forget what there's, I couldn't use their support services or whatever. I forget what, what it's called. Excellent. Okay. Brian, you're in a different place. Looks like Fran's in her kitchen. Oh, we can't hear you. <laughs> she, she's Mike. Different but... from where? Before it looked like you were in your office or something. Now, are you in your kitchen area or something? Yeah, the last few times. Oh, oh. Well, okay. I, you haven't been here for a while, so maybe, and we've missed. So, yeah, I've for some reason I thought it didn't work in the kitchen, but it does, and it's easier to keep eyes. I've got, you know, coyote worries and yet Dermot's outside, so. Oh boy. And I woke up at one a couple nights ago and I heard rup, 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 rup. coyotes wow. out in the cemetery. Just one, I think. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I hate it when you I have coyotes out in the cemetery. Yeah, but you have coyotes in your yard. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Between last last week when Mark was talking about how the wild turkeys ruined his internet and, the, <laughs> and your coyotes, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we're just encroaching on their habitat. That's it. Hey, Becky, how's your arm, your shoulder? Um, I'm just wanting to practice a lot more and I can't so but it's getting better so but um, I'm practicing again so but it's frustrating yeah yeah so, but I'm playing a little bit so I just downloaded uh, touch Wayne McGowan's uh, she calls it the improver course man there's a lot of good tunes on there it's gonna take me a while to go to learn those there I, I kind of know a lot of them. I don't know all of them. And uh, <clears throat> it's going to be a lot of fun. What course are you taking? What? Kathleen Nagawan. Oh. You know, Kathleen. Yeah, the, the one who just had twins? Pardon me? Yeah. She had twins? No, no. This is someone else? Oh, maybe she did. But she did, yeah. Yeah, she has I, some toddlers. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're taking her course. Yes, the I already did the beginning, and now I'm doing the middle course. Wow, and you like it? Yeah, she's really good. Um, it's not. I could email her, but it's not a um, in very person. Good. Yeah, she's very thorough, and uh, yeah, really good. <clears throat> Yeah, I've taken her free courses. Yeah, there you go. Good. How's the new harp, Lauren? Good. I just bought my spare set of strings and my credit card is on fire, but we're hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> 46 strings will knock you right on your butt. Oh, wow. That was really expensive. Yeah, How many hundred dollars does that cost? Um, so 
You actually buy the set in a, in different sets. So you have 12 base wires, and those run about 150 for the set. And then you yeah. have, oh goodness, uh, uh, the middle chunk is gut strings, uh, about one, four octave and some change. That's about 350. And then, and then, uh, the top octave and uh, some change are nylon, and those are, like, not a big deal. But maybe 80 bucks, 100 bucks. And you might get three, well, you might get th two or three strings out of one string. Okay. So they wow. give you, let's say, if you're dealing with eight nylon at the top, each, you'll get eight lines, but you might get two or three out of them. Because the top is only... You know, real itty bitty, and then the same with the gut strings. Your first several, you might get two out of a cut, but then as you get into the longer ones, you might not. But I'm going to. I have to record an audition next week or the week after, and I was like, if I don't have a spare string and something happens, I'm I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, oh, cool. I got them all ordered, and it's it's coming along. The uh, no problems with it. So yay and. So it's like the same string thickness for a couple for different notes. Uh, yeah. No. Oh. Just a handful here and there. Yeah. Different and you options. might you might get, uh, but there there are different colors. So while like like the I don't know like this you probably can't see this is blue, and the one right up below it is the same string stick thickness, but it's clear. And so in a pinch, I could throw a blue one on there. I just have to not get confused. So um, are the red ones C's and the blue ones G's or something like that? Uh, red, red, red is C and blue is F. F, okay. Yeah, and then what I bought for my base wires is uh, they, don't, they are not colored, the bottom 12, because to be colored, they have to be coated, and a lot of people feel they don't have the sound quality. Oh, so, but they are, they do them in like a silver and a copper. So you can tell the different other in the other room. They just came in the mail. Um, like right now it's red and uh, blue on there and it will be on there until I have to change them. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, then eventually they'll tarnish up because they're uncoated and they'll be a little harder to tell the difference. But you don't really use the bottom octave a whole lot. It's mostly <clears throat> to have the soundboard of the proper size, you know, so they have all the Yeah, sound. but why those low notes are great, aren't they? Yeah, there's a, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear, there's like a, they're real good, it's like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. But, you know, the, the set for the small harps is a lot cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't even think. I think it's less than 300 for this guy, 34 strings, and but it's not a gut strung. The uh, the gut is a different tension, and if I put gut on it, I could really mess it up. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, fiddles, you can get gut strings for fiddles. We, I don't know anybody that does. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of lever harpists that use gut, but your harp has to be made that way. There are a lot or, of like, baroque, like violinists that play like Baroque music, they use gut strings. Yeah, too. sure. The gut has a beautiful sound, it just did. But you know, some some people now, carbon fiber is a thing, and some people really like that, and I don't know, it's preference. So the, string, the, the, the strings that you get a couple uh, strings are uh, out of, or the notes you get a couple strings out of. Do you cu actually cut the string yourself, or cut yeah. the wire? Wow. Yeah. Um. I'll uh, I'll grab a bass wire. I'll show you. Education. <laughs> I think it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. I it's always good to learn about each other's instruments. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It does. It helps you know what like limitations are on certain instruments and like. Like when she asks what key is it in, because she has to change all of her flips all the and yeah. yeah. I was getting worried about having to buy a set of strings for a five-string fiddle. <laughs> nothing compared feeling, to feeling better now, Eric? There are only a few different brands that make a five-string set. Like really? Okay. 
Helicores has one that, that I understand is pretty good. But. Do they? Okay. Otherwise, you have to buy a viola string. <laughs> yeah. I was wanting uh, an octave lower, and uh, Brian, that made my fiddle, Brian Bishop, said, uh, well, maybe you can try viola strings. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> They're the same thing. <clears throat> yeah, right. I was wanting an octave violin, you know. Oh, for uh, there, that wouldn't do, but there are these things called octave strings. Yes. So there they're are. really cool. But and when I, I asked him, there wasn't, you know, this was a few years ago, or at least they weren't generally available. All right. All right. So this is a base wire in its pack. And you can see uh -huh. there's a big old, they put an end on it for you. Yeah. And so you run that up through the soundboard and then up to the top. And they usually say when it's in place, you pull it through, then you take the string and you stretch it down an extra octave and then start to turn your peg. And that's how much slack you need to bring it up to tune. Um, because it will wrap around the peg three, four times. Um, oh, and so oh, the... Hmm? How long did it take you before you had the courage to change a string? Uh, <laughs> you know, my little baby harp I started with, I have non-musician parents, that thing kept its strings for 10 years. Because nobody told me that it does degrade eventually and you should change them. And you know, now that, after, and I was young, really like a kid, and now as an adult, I, I strummed on it a few years back and I was like, goodness. This sounds awful. Um, uh, but a string never broke on that one. Um, it wasn't until I got this one that probably a year into having it, a string snapped. And it scared me, and it makes a big old sound. And I called the person I bought it from, and I was like, what do I do? She's like, just change it, Lauren. And I was like, I don't know how. She's like, look in your book. It'll show you how to tie the knot. Um, because the top strings don't have an end. Right. You have to do it yourself. And so I had the little peg on the big harp. They use like a wooden dowel and you tie um, a knot around it. And then uh, on these ones, like this harp, they just use a string end that you have cut off your old string to tie the knot around. Um, and you just That's run what it I up through twist it and then I just cut it so that it has a couple of inches and then whatever is left is left um because it'll stretch a little bit so you want a little room there um but some people I've heard do uh like prefer to use a suede instead of a string end to like alter the sound a little bit I use some cotton fabric in the top up here because it's really hard to you know, the nylon's very stiff, so you try and tighten the the knot down around an already tight string end, and you're getting it in there, and, you know, your your entrance into the soundboard is very small. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and so, you know, your string is up here. You get your hand all the way up there. You're trying to hold the knot in place, trying to hold the little string end the knot is around while you've got had it run up and then you have your tuning peg trying to turn it and then you yell at your husband come quick turn the thing for me <laughs> um trying to get it all under tension so before that string end slips out so eventually I said screw it and i'm just going to use some fabric because it isn't like the string ends are real slippery and the fabric just stays in the knot what? um so this is like a mix and Mm -hmm. But some people have preference. I don't find, on this harp at least, that the fabric versus the string end changes the sound. Wow. Like, mm. wow. can't even can't even tell you which strings have fabric and which ones have a string end. But <laughs> okay. all the all players those, come with all, the end. All of us fiddlers feel a lot better now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I don't usually do a whole string change at once. I'll change, like, a few at a time. But yeah. then even, like, this one, I don't... It's been through a whole string change this last year. But that means that, like, some of the strings are almost 10 months old at this point. But I haven't been gigging, so I'm not really worried. 
about the sound degradation. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, thanks for sharing. That's cool. It's good. Yeah. To, it's interesting to know. <clears throat> yeah, you're welcome. It's so fascinating. It's like, <laughs> well, it's like, um, you know, I put off changing drinks on my fiddle, and I'm like, oh, that's nothing compared to <laughs> to what you have to do. Right. Yeah, we are. I have to do like mandolin strings. I'm like, oh, it's so many strings. So many. <laughs> At least we don't do them too often, like mostly when they break and then all at once, maybe if you're going to do a full change. But everyone does different. Some people keep the base wires for two years and change everything else once a year. Some people never change them unless they break. People yeah. like orchestral players and gigging players, it's like once a year, a new set. But one year, all the cows had why uh, mad cow disease, and all the gut strings snapped on everyone's heart because the gut oh. was diseased. It was a big problem that year. I was not yeah. onto gut strings yet, and poor cows. Yeah, it was an issue. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, but enough about harp strings. Yeah. You can tell I'm under socialized at home, I'm like a chatterbox. <laughs> <laughs> we all are right now. Oh my god. It's good to know. I mean, about the strings. Cool. Well, I think it was either we could do a review or I'll teach something today, depending Ooh, what on what. Teach? What? What are you going to teach? Um. Well, I came up with two options. One is that Timmy Clifford's jig That's that nice I've played a few times, I think, and then or that O'Mahony's. That I think you know part of. Kit, uh, the four, no. four jigs. Uh, jig. Get them on. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky, so. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little tricky, maybe. What's the vote? <laughs> what, do other, what do other people want? I don't know either of them. Either would be would be good with me. Okay. If I have to choose, I'm going to do the Chimmy Clifford's because it's a little simpler. That's a good idea. For... Okay, cool. All right. All right, well then. I discovered that it has another name that it's even more well known by, which is like Micko Russell's. Oh, Michael, kind of... Michael Russell. Yeah. Yeah, but they spell it like, yeah, with the, the O and the. Yeah, but it's pronounced Michael. M I C H O. -O. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a million tunes called Michael Russell's. Yes, there are. <laughs> yes, there are. Like yeah. So anyway, all right. Um, I'll play it through, I guess. Oh, I should turn on my real sound. Can you hear this okay? Yep. yep. All right. All right. <laughs> familiar with it but I've never I've never learned it it's on the solace um, yeah yeah reunion one that's so. that's where I've heard it yep yep cool so dig time um, all right here's the first little bit starting at load oh 
Oh, Becky, we can hear you. We can hear you. <laughs> That's okay. Sounds good. Um, so. Usually do a roll there. And then. So the two parts together. Again. So far so good? Or a couple more times. Move on. Okay. <laughs> no, that's not what you meant. <laughs> you meant more. <laughs> the sign language. Okay, a few more times. Again. Again. Is it too fast? Or is that okay? No? Okay. Cool. Then the next little bit. It's got that big jump from the C to the B. <laughs> So those three together are together are times okay all right good and then there's the little pickup into continuing from from that little bit we did already so and then it just goes right into the same thing so you just like the beginning. Good. So then from there, it's the same. But it climbs up. So that part is. these nice long notes which have all sorts of different ornaments on them and then ends the same way good so that second half of the a part goes
How's that going? Should we do the whole A part? Okay, whole A part. Yeah, it's the same as between the first half and the second half of the A section. It just circles back so you have... Thank you. You do that a few times, though, a little bit. So that happens both, like to connect it both times. Same thing. A few more times of the A part. Okay. And. to the B part that um, instead of going down, it goes up. So that's like the second ending kind of. Um, and then, so the B part has all of these really long notes, which I know are like, Every version I've heard ornaments them differently, so I'm just going to teach them as the long notes and then we can figure out what we want to do. So after that, that's what you get to. So the beginning of the B part technically is like, it's two long ones without the pickup. So. Those two bits together are
it keeps going. <laughs> And then it's the same ending as the first time. <laughs> Love when it repeats. <laughs> cool. I know we chopped that up a whole bunch, so I'll play the B part through, um, and then we can go back again. So. spots in the B part. <laughs> do you want to just do the whole B part a couple times? Okay. Cool. Ready? three times. I meant to do it four. Sorry. <laughs> A few more times on me or the whole thing. I mean, I could do the whole thing. I don't know about anybody else. It's a pretty tune. Yeah, cool. I, I could do the whole thing. Sure. Do it. Is that too slow? Or is it okay? It's a good speed. Okay, won't speed it up then. <laughs> Ready? And... <laughs>
How's that going? I really like that jacket. It's really nice. That's a nice, nice tune, Ashley. It's like a healing song for right now. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, I played it with it? Uh, what? What was it? What was the name? So it's Timmy Clifford's. Timmy, um, like Thomas. Yes, like Timmy. Okay. What's Timmy, little name? Tim. And then Mike Michael Russell's is the other name, but there's like a zillion tunes with that name. I, I, Timmy Clifford. You. Sometimes it gets muddly over Zoom, like the names. Oh yeah. And I played it with, um, with Liz Carroll in a workshop, and she said that she knew that from when she was in sessions in Chicago. And I guess Timmy Clifford was playing in these sessions, and he like would never start tunes and never really wanted to participate very much. And then apparently one day he just like ripped out with this jig. Ah. And so that's why they call it that. Cool. But it's not it's not his composition. So anyway. I'll send out the dots for it. Thank you. That's a very nice tune. That's really nice. Cool. Yeah, thank you, Ashley. That's great. Hey, Tristan. Hi, Tristan. Hey, guys. Hi there. How's it going? Good to see you, Joe. Good to see you, man. How you doing? Doing pretty good. How about yourself? Good. Happy New Year. Thanks. Everybody. Likewise. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Happy New Year. Let's see. So many strings today. <laughs> I mean, I don't know any, not like it's different from any other time, but. We need an antidote to the strings. Some, some, reeds. Or, some reeds, please. I was thinking about getting out the pipes tonight, but I didn't get up here soon enough to get them out and kick the tires and tune them up, so That's probably right. not. I have uh, over 100 strings in this room alone. <laughs> As I was saying, so many strings. Do you feel intimidated? <laughs> I feel like though one pipe, one piper, maybe even one whistle will be louder than all of us together, so it's fine. That's true. That's true. Okay. Well, I think we can get started on the session. There we here. Go. Joe's Joe's got my back. <laughs> uh James, do you got uh a tune you want to share? Um, ooh. I'm starting off slow for the new year. Let's do one of the um, Marty Somberg ones, I guess. Okay. Um, so this is the, the girls at the bus stop. Let's do that one. Okay. All right, this is in, um, I think, I think it's D, D major. Yeah, I believe so. D major, girls at the bus stop.
guys. Happy New Year. That was great, man. It's nice. You've been working on your uh, your rolls and your bow triplets and all that. Sounds good. You know, um, I've actually been working on. Um, there's something. So so I came to be like I was inspired. I guess my inspiration for doing all this stuff is that band Emar. And the violinist there, I don't think he's the only one who does it, but he has like this weird role. I don't know what to call it, but he does like a ornament with like throwing down his third finger. And he does it for open strings instead of um, the triplets. And I'm working on that. I'm actually working on that. It's like, but I can't do it yet. But I don't know. It's really weird, but I'm trying. So once I get it, I'll show you guys. <laughs> cool. Sounds good. Okay, Becky, are you uh, are you feeling up to? Yeah, I'll do a quick one here. Okay. Ten penny bit. Ten penny bit. Okay. Can you hear me? I hope I sound okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if anybody else heard that. Your your volume was cutting out on me, Yeah, you Becky. dropped out for a lot of the tune, but... Oh, I did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to go back to my notes then. I'm good. I'm going to have to go back to my notes and figure it out. Um, change can, this. I can see if you have original sound on. It, it, yeah, it's off. It's turn off original sound. That's right. That's right, yeah. <laughs> So I was going in and out. See, I'm my other computer broke, so I haven't fixed this one. Okay, that's all right. I have to take a quick break, and the chef has has served dinner, so I'll be. Oh, back. sounds good. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Uh, Joe, it's your turn. If you got one for us, Joe. Thank you. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'll play some jigs. Uh, play like, I haven't been playing much, been working more than playing, unfortunately. How about um, Tripping Up the Stairs, Gallagher's Frolics, and probably something in G, like, I don't know, something. You'll know okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sounded great. Was the volume okay? Wasn't sure if this thing is. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Plenty loud. Okay. I was thinking about turning my volume down. It was loud enough. Some oldies but goodies. Yeah, great set. Uh, Donna, you got something you want to play? No? Okay. Uh, Fran, you're up next. Okay. Maybe I'll just try like Walls of Liss Carol and Sheep in the Boat. Thank you. 
sleep in the boat right off the top of my head. I love the Butcher's March. Yeah, it's a good one, isn't it? That's, that's a fun. great. Yeah, I've been, that's a good one. Yeah. I'm going to sign off. See you guys next week. See you, Donna. Okay. Good night, Donna. Uh, Tristan, you're up next. You must be bailing to go to Mary O's. Yeah. Oh, up next. Um, I want to get the, I get the box. I've been working through on uh, my being whistle tunes, but um. Cutting out, Tristan. Yeah, too much. Yeah. Let me, uh, I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but I'll try. Maybe, hold on, let me double check the turn. I wanted to say, I want it to be blue and say turn off, right? Okay, let's try it again. just uh it's not wanting to be in the fingers right now now keep going with it tristan just oh so i'll just switch over to this maybe thing. slow down even a tad more and just keep going
come through clear that time? It did, yeah. It wasn't cutting out. Sounded good. Very nice. I don't even know what what I want to play. Um, let me think. I guess I'll try uh, the Christmas reel. Christmas Eve. Okay. for a kiss a try if that's all right sure that sounds great
That sounded great. Yeah, it sounded good. Thank you, Lauren. There. Mark, I'm sorry I skipped right over you, but you can take a turn now. No, I don't. <laughs> if you want to. No, actually, I'm going to pass tonight. You can, okay. I'll probably call your, your name next time, but. Funny, you don't look like Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to get going, so, but good to see everybody. Good seeing you, Joe. Oh, thanks for coming, Joe. Joe. Nice We've been yeah. missing you. Take Bye. care. See ya. Yep. See you soon. Uh, James, we're back around to you. I've been working on the Congress. Oh, great. Okay. It's in G. Yep. Okay. Or sorry, E minor, right? Anyways. <laughs> but has anyone heard of the caves of Kiltanton? No? I have not. Okay, because I'm just working on it. Brad. I wondered if anyone else. Yeah, the caves of Kiltanon. Yeah, Kiltanon. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, Mary Mack. Did Patty, did Patty Kenny write it? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's his backyard. He's got caves. Yeah, it's kind of, I, you know, I've kind of worked on it from time to time, but I don't have really you? know. Okay. So you're working on it? I'm working on it. It's going to be a long time, but it sounds so great on the country. It, it, yes. Yeah, there's some recording on. on Mary Mac. Was it? McNamara. Mary oh, McNamara. Mary Mac, yeah. And then on the Piper site, they, they 
Mary plays it there on the Piper site, oh, okay. ITME. So, yeah. So that's good that at least one person knows it. Okay. Yeah, no. Mark, you kind of, you're familiar with it. Mark, are you familiar with it? Aren't you? Yeah, it's been a while. It's a tough tune to play on fiddle. Yeah. It's, it's hard on the concertina, too. Well, at least like it was four, hard four for us. Or something? Pardon? Is it like a four part? Yeah, it's it's real long. Yeah. It was it hard for us to play back when. It's been a long time, years. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good because I am working on it. So. Good. <laughs> I'll. Uh, but I'm passing. Okay. I don't have any more to this right now. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, Ashley, you're just in time to get back in the circulation. Yes. Um, about a waltz. Do you guys, the old waltz? Mm -hmm. I was listening to that this week. different uh creepy and o'reilly's album one of the one-eyed man one yeah that's the one that oh i love that isn't it great and then he also like does some of the octaves and things like that while he's playing although it's in a different key on that what is it i think it's in b flat or something probably i, think I didn't want to play in <laughs> yeah i i got it a long time ago i probably transposed it when i got it yeah that was lovely that was really nice. Uh, let's see, Fran, you're up next. Uh, okay, how about through the week, sometimes I write down things that I think I can play. So we'll see if I can, um, the honeymoon reel, the mountain road, and if I can go into Boys of Ballast of Bear. Oh, cool. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
been a long time since I played that one. Yeah, and sorry for the slow tempo, but... No, I needed it. I needed it okay. slow. That was helpful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. I gotta go. Okay. Nice see you all. See Thanks for coming, Lauren. Yeah. Good Bye. seeing you. Uh, Mark, are you still... Still passing. passing. Sorry. Okay. That's all right. Fran's going to pull her hair out. Uh, Tristan, you're up next. Um, sit here the whole time, like trying to think of things. And uh, how about um, Double Real Woman of the House? Okay. Uh, well, how about that one?
Sorry about that, guys. I gotta try to remember which tunes I actually remember how to play. <laughs> well, you know how to play the woman in the house. You just couldn't pull it out of your head. Yeah, it's. And I couldn't either. I've I've played the Virginia, probably far more recently than that, and they've got a similar enough start. As soon as they started, I was like, yeah, nope, that's not it, but whatever. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'm I'm taking off, guys. Have a good week. <laughs> Everybody. Okay. Bye. You too, yeah. James. Thanks. Thanks. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen. So everybody have a good week. I'll see you next week. Okay. Sounds good, Mark. See you later. Bye. Uh man, I just killed it, didn't I? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Death by Tim was I'm feeling so Nah, they're so tired else. lately. I'm not sleeping. Just everything is discombobulated. I don't know. You're not sleeping? No, yeah, oh, with yeah. everything, all the controversy going around. Well, just I don't know. put some tunes in your head as you're going to sleep. That helps me. That's, yeah, yeah, that's what I should do instead of watching the news. Yeah. There are these couple of, of apps that do these like bedtime stories for adults. Oh these yeah, Great. they're amazing. Oh my gosh, yes, it's like really you listen to them for like ten minutes and I, I never hear the rest. <laughs> like I use them when I yeah. like when I absolutely can't sleep, then I will put a headphone in and do that. But it's then as soon as I listen to it, it's that's over. I'm, I'm asleep. Wow. Good to know. <laughs> I gotta find out what that is. I can send you a couple yep. Yep. recommendations. Yeah. Yeah, you need to one of the okay. Irish actor. I can't remember what it is, but his his accent always puts me to sleep. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm trying. I'm sitting here trying to remember how to play Happy Days again, and I'm drawing a blank.
nice. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Where do we go from here? Ashley, I guess you're you're up next. Well, you totally stole what I was gonna play. So. Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, what's one more thing I've been working on? Oh yeah, sure. Fine. Oh. Then you gotta give me a minute to think. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Kalavel. And then that tune that goes after Kalavel that I never remember. What it's called. And somebody always tells me what it's called, and then I forget again. So. Okay. What? I don't know. You'll remember what it's called. Yep. <laughs> something and I never remember yeah. this part. <laughs> I love the tune so you should like I feel like I should remember it but never. Uh, you know, a lot of people have forgotten names of tunes. It's yeah. no big deal. <laughs> I'll just forever remember it as that jig. Yeah. yeah. That's live. Yeah, whatever. You know, I forgot to tell you Ashley, I got an email from Winnie Haran about two weeks ago. And she was looking for opportunities to teach 
um, workshops. Oh. Um, and I, I've just been out of, I haven't been thinking about doing stuff lately, but, um, yeah. maybe that'd be something we could, uh, I don't know if you've talked with Colleen about things that we want to do, but. Um, other than the emails we've sent back and forth? No. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 We were just kind of, I asked her today what she thought about um, somebody from Ennis because it doesn't seem like we're going to get that grant money. So no. we can go anywhere. You don't have to worry oh. about being in the U.S. Yeah. Okay. Or at least if we are going to get it, it's going to be a while because it's been months since we heard anything. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you want to forward that, we can. I'll forward the email and yeah. Thanks. Let's see if it's something we want to do. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, Fran, are you? Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'd like to play something on a concertina, but I'm getting the stink eye from Dermot. <laughs> I'm getting it from Chewy too. He's. But else? my lip is not very good. On well, we'll see. What can I? The cat hasn't left the uh, dresser drawer in like hours, so. Yeah. I'll be there for a while. Is she still in the drawer? Is she feeling all right? I think she's better. She had like, she had an allergic reaction to uh, vaccines she got this week. Yeah, they so we had to take her to the... And I've never had it. And it's too bad your kitty got it. Yeah, I don't know what... Because she's had them before and she's been fine, but then she got... She, she was just like not good after that. So we went to the emergency vet in the middle of the night. And then she got better. She's just tired and like not really doing much. Love that middle of the night emergency bed. Usually yep. for me, it's like Saturday night at eleven or midnight. Oh god. Which is even worse, I think, than during the week. <laughs> but we're all good now. That's good. Oh. No, I'm not going to do that. Sorry, let me start again. big time sorry where have i heard that before it's a set dance yeah Chris, do you remember which which one it is uh, i don't uh, i think it's called the hunt isn't it yes the hunt yeah i the yeah. galti hunt or the galti hunt sometimes galti yeah. Hunt. yeah i'm haven't played it for a while sorry it's a I'm great sorry. tune though yeah, yeah, that's nice. That would be fun to play together. Uh, let's see. Okay, Tristan, got another one for us. Are you guys are you guys ready to call it a night? I, no, I'm pretty I close. I, don't, I can try to. We're getting there. Yeah. Okay. 
scrounge one more. How about um, well, how about I don't know if I've got anything I want to put with it, but how about Helvick Head? Oh, okay, yeah. Isn't it? Is there, uh, the, yeah. How was... Or something. I don't. I don't know. It's, uh, my brain's not. My brain's not here tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, me too. Same. Well, hey, now that I've butchered a couple of. Uh, couple of tunes um a little side note if any of you guys are interested in uh ordering girl scout cookies again this year i know oh, most yeah. of you guys bought last year um it is that time and taylor put together a really cute um little musical sales pitch it was so um, cute i thought it was adorable. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she got that man um that uh uh ukulele for christmas and has just been totally Put some with it. Um, cool. The last week or two. Uh, you know, just, uh, it's so funny because, like, I remember coming to your house to get the cookies. Yes, that's right. Like, right yeah. when the lockdown started. Yeah, like, and so when I saw that, good. I was like, oh, didn't I just buy some? Oh, wait, that was, like, 12 months ago. <laughs> well, I think, I think we had one box. I think Amanda had bought a box of shortbread that we never did get to her, so I... I owe her a box of cookies this year. Is she still around? Have you guys has she been coming to these at all? Do you know if she's even still around? A little bit. Or... Yeah. She's in Vermont. Um, she and her now fiance. Oh really? Oh, really? Vermont, wow. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Cool. She's kind of, but so I don't think that she'll be back here for a while. Probably not. Yeah. So anyways, here I'll uh, I'll put the link in the um chat though if you guys uh want to go ahead and... well we've only got like a few days left to buy don't we so um if you want me to deliver them in person or rather taylor to deliver them in person um yeah by the 20th but um you can have them shipped directly after that for another month or so but okay. you do have to pay shipping I, to do that, so. I love that you can buy these online now that's yeah, dangerous. the whole thing is, uh, yeah, easy peasy. Cool. So. Well, I'll, I'll save you the trouble of delivering directly to me. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. We do get up sort of that way once in a while. Yeah. But uh, not very often. We, yeah. we did a big, uh, I thought of you, um, a couple of days before Christmas, we did a big sort of whirlwind porch drop-off present tour. And... Um, that was a very nice tour. Yeah, yeah we're cool. up to um, Taylor's, um, one of Taylor's grandparents, sets of grandparents that have just moved to um, 
Oh, where that? They're real close to you. They were in Waterford, and now they're in. Um... Well, Jessica's sister's in Lake Orion, but it's just north of there a little bit. Oxford. Yeah. Yes. Oxford. Okay. Yeah, they're in Oxford. So. Cool. Yeah, that's where. Sort of, um... sort of your neck of the woods, right? Abs yeah, that's where I. Uh... I go to uh, Sullivan's Pub there and drink frequently well, when it's not when we, a pandemic. When we get things back to normal, we'll uh, come up there and maybe we'll uh, have some tunes there or something. And yeah, I'm sure they'd love to come out and hang out with us. All, so that'd be awesome. Oh, and uh, James, who was on earlier, he he lives in Oxford. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you might get a, a session going up there yet, Eric. You never know. Um, who knows? Yeah. If we can get a critical mass of players. So, Tristan, if we do this and we do the shipping, does it still go to Taylor's number? Yeah. Yeah, it still counts for her. But if you want to, like, we can arrange to get the cookies to you if you want to save on the shipping because it's, um, it's, not super cheap. Oh, yeah, it is. It's as much so, as a box of cookies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Two so, boxes. Definitely, definitely anybody in Ann Arbor were more than happy to uh, do some I can come pick them up and do some delivery or let you pick them up. Yeah. <laughs> You're not far. Cool. Good deal. Well, well I, um, I think are I'm ready to. Put on the towel here? I'm ready. Yeah. All right. Um, very nice to see all of you. It was great, yeah. And good luck, Likewise. Becky, on your rehab. Yeah, and I'll um I'll message Colleen in the morning and let her know what's going on with the website. Okay. I don't know. Did you hear, Tristan? Somebody we got hacked. Hijacked the web. Uh, <laughs> Did Facebook we? Page. Okay. The the Facebook page. Yeah. So she reached out to me and um and was asking about that and I noticed that uh, that yeah neither. She, she and I were admins on it, so nobody is admin. We don't know who. No, I only I still only me, and yeah. I I looked in the history of updates for admins, and I think it was December second. I removed John, Colleen, Ashley, and I added some guy that I have no idea who it is, under my really? name. Yeah. Oh, that was thoughtful. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, but Can I. Can you see that guy's profile, by the way? I I I looked it up, and it it's it says he's he was born in the fifties, and it has some a picture of some young girl on his profile. Yeah, I that seems what. real. That's legit. Yeah. <laughs> Russia, Russia. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The the Dima Facebook page would be very. Very useful and profitable to some Russian hackers. Yeah, for spreading <laughs> spreading propaganda. Uh, it's yeah. happened to me that twice that I've gotten weird Russian hacks in my Spotify account. Really? Like, that just all of a sudden, and I use it for school for kids. So yeah. we're like playing music, and then in the middle, all of a sudden, crazy Russian metal music will start playing. Is that, just, how, you, is that how you found that Ukrainian clip the other day? Change the password, change the password. It's like, what in the world? Oh, yes, thank you for your help on that. <laughs> yeah, it's not Bella Laika music. That'd be better. Yeah, yeah. really. Much better. All right, you guys. Okay. Take care. Right. See you next Good time. Good night, y'all. Yep. Good night. See you guys. Bye-bye. Good night, Becky.